we had a commitment to make a movie with Jack Nicholson, who was just emerging as a star from his performance in Easy Rider. So the mandate was really to create a vehicle for Jack Nicholson. And to that end, uh, I found a writer named Carol Eastman who was not really well known, but she was very talented and she had been in acting school with Nicholson and knew him very well. And she wrote a script to, to really take advantage of all of his resources. So it was really like having a, a suit made by a tailor as opposed to taking one off the rack. Very unlike the way it's generally done where a studio gets a script and then they go out and they find someone to play the part. So she's coming out here or you're going out there? She's, she'll be here. We're going to make the film here in town. Uh, right. And when is that going to be? Uh, any day now. <laughs> well, good luck. What's the name of the movie? Special. And will it be? Very. <laughs> in, in, in that moment, uh, we were very, it, it was a very kind of anti-studio uh, ethos, and we were really trying to make a European film. Everyone was just obsessed. I mean, when I say everyone, I mean the young filmmakers were obsessed with the, the Nouvelle Vague, with the Italians, with Bergman. So the idea was to do something that was really <coughs> very character-based as opposed to a very plotty film. And, you know, the movie doesn't have a lot of plot to it. It's really based on these, you know, these very detailed characters. Five easy pieces. Did you ever see this movie before? Yes, I did, a long time ago. And uh, what did this movie mean to you? I didn't understand it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just think I was a little young to understand what was the filmmaker was driving at at the time. But since then, I've really come to appreciate films from the 60s and 70s. And so um, I think that was the golden decades for filmmaking. So I'm excited about seeing it again. It's interesting to see the way over the over the years different audiences that were not even born when the picture was made respond to it. And uh, over the years I've had occasion to kind of lecture on 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 screenwriting and on and and we've shown the film and I've been I've always been surprised at how well the film holds up at, at, uh, to new audiences. Uh, so the so the the thing that's new for me is really seeing the way people, you know, the moments that people respond to. And it's not that different than the way they responded uh, when the picture was first made. Romanian films are the best. And why? Oh, because it's been such an oppressed country and now they're coming out into politics, into America. It's becoming part of the UN. It's, it's growing, so it's beautiful. I thought the film we saw tonight about the twins was incredibly fabulous. One with a hat. One, if you look it up, and it says hat in the uh, Tiburon Film Festival, I look up the one with a hat, and I will be there. <laughs> was the reaction from the crowd any different than you would have expected? Yeah, for me it was great, because I don't know, here in the United States it's a different, different culture like in Spain, but for me the reactions were always the same. They laughed with the same things, and it was interesting. Ballerina is an uh, uh, important uh, movie, important movie because uh, uh, it's a uh, tratta una storia importante. Come si dice? Talk about a very important story. Uh, di ragazze dell'est che sognano una vita una vita migliore. Young girl from the very poor places that dream to be someone, and then they found just a very e invece life. trovano praticamente la prostituzione, la, le persone che la inducono la prostituzione. E